ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel my name is Phoenix and we are here with another uh, let's play we are going to be doing the episode downfall now where we left off last uh, time uh, we had uh, met up with the USS Glenn after trying to help us uh, the Delta Volantis space station uh, lots of Klingons and lots of fighting and and we met the uh, wonderful tardigrade so here we're going to be doing the uh, downfall mission. Starbase 1 has been attacked by the Klingons. Though they have repelled the first wave of attack, it is highly likely that more Klingon forces will resume the assault soon. We need you to assist Starbase 1 and defend it from Klingon attack immediately. Alright. I have a mission for you. Alright, so we're going to turn the ship around. And we're at to Starbase 1. Alright, we're gonna be begin downfall. Glad you could make it. There's a little time and plenty to do. I trust you see the enemy vessels near your position? Yeah, we have them on our Deal with them. I need you conducting rescue operations as soon as possible. And the Klingons won't let you do that without a fight. Alright, understood, Admiral. Alright. Let's go kick some Klingon butt. All right, that area is secure for now. Let's make the most of the time we have. I need you to beam out any survivors on board the damaged Starfleet ships in your vicinity. Make it fast. The Klingons will send more ships, and soon. Agreed. One more thing. The Klingons aren't above ambush tactics, using their blasted cloaking device to get the jump on you. Some of them might be lurking around, waiting for the chance to strike. No, I'll just Darwin out. Alright. Churchill has been evacuated. Thanks. Ooh, get the Cardiff now. Cardiff evac complete. All hands are safely away. Okay, let's get to the uh, Macedonia and then Vancouver. Macedonia reporting. Evac is complete. We owe you one. Alright. And finally, the Vancouver. Of course. Vancouver here. We are all clear. Many thanks. All right. So. Nice work. Glad those Klingon cowards didn't get the better of you. Thank you, Admiral. I hate to ask this, but I have standing orders from Starfleet Command. I need you to scuttle those ships. Admiral? The Klingons have been scavenging everything they can to get their hands from wrecked Starfleet vessels. In the event we fail in our mission here, Command doesn't want the Klingons getting away with any critical resources. You have your orders. Understood. Kinda sucks, but yeah, we can do. Come on. Full impulse, let's go. All right, and finally the church shell. Oh, 
hard thing to watch, but it had to be done. Agreed. What's next, Admiral? We need some critical supplies here. My chief engineer is sending you a list as we speak. Beam those supplies over with the personnel you rescued. After that, I need you on high alert, patrolling the area. The Klingons don't give up that easily. They'll be back. Understood. We're on our way, Admiral. Alright. To Starbase 1. Surely you didn't think we'd let you seize all the glory here. <laughs> Not all, Captain. Good to see you. And you. My chief engineer isn't too happy right now, but we made it in one piece. We came as soon as we could. Wish it were under better circumstances. Ticonderoga's ready for battle. We've got your back. All right, well that's good. At least someone's got my back. You're doing good work out there. The personnel and supplies you've sent might make the difference here today. That said, I have bad news. Our long-range sensors are picking up a Klingon force heading our way at high warp. They'll be here soon. Get ready for a fight. Yes, Admiral. Remember the lessons we learned in battle, especially at Corvan 2. They'll be preoccupied with conquering the base. We can use that distraction to our advantage. Agreed. We know how they fight. Don't expect mercy. It won't be coming from Klingons. Hit them fast and hit them hard. And Captains, it's been an honor. Good fortune to you all. And to you, Captain. Klingon attack ships on sensors. Fire at will! Sometimes I kind of feel like I'm a little overpowered with this ship. If I had the other one, I'd be probably. We're taking heavy damage here, Captain. How many you fired at you? They're firing at me. Ow, that hurt a little bit. Just a little bit of boost. There we go. Captains, we're reading more Klingon ships on our sensors. A lot more. This is it. They're making their big push. Our initial predictions are not good. I've given the order to evacuate critical personnel and the injured. We're loading as many as we can load onto the ships docked here. They're too damaged to fight, but they're all warp capable. Understood. I need you to draw attention from those ships when they disembark. Buy them the time they need to get to warp and to safe harbor. Well, they'll have it, Admiral. Oh, you're not going anywhere, Sunshine. The Decatur is under 
away. Keep the Klingons distracted. Shields a little bit. Take him out. You, you're gonna stay right there. I was like gonna pummel you. All ships, the Lafayette is underway. Keep those Klingons busy. They got it. Sweet. Just a few stragglers left. Deal with them. Well, I can deal with these boys. I'm not sure why they have fascination with going into the station, but. Big Mama's here to play. Heads up. Looks like the Klingon flagship just dropped out of warp. It's the Lakara. Sounds like you have some history with that ship. What can you tell us about... Wait. Are you reading this? We're picking up some unusual energy spikes. Some new Klingon weapon, perhaps? I don't like this. Take the Lakara out of commission before it gets into weapons range. Right. I see you still draw breath, Starfleet. This pleases me. Hey. I'm going to enjoy breaking you. Oh, you can't break me, sweetheart. You need to stop the Lucara now. What do you think I'm doing, Shran? Jesus. Patience. the Admiral.
Take a moment. You've had quite a day. Fucking Daniels. My name is Daniels. I'm here to help. Jaula's weapon used unstable mycelial tech, stolen from the Glen. When she fired it, it caused a massive temporal disruption. Everyone in the blast radius was thrown forward in time to the early 25th century. You, your crew, and a number of House Mokai ships, including the Lucara. They're currently at large. Unchecked, they're a danger to the timeline. I'd like your help in dealing with them. Officially, you were listed as killed in action. I'll help you fully integrate into this time period. That mycelial tech is dangerous. We need to stop Jaula, and soon. I'll be in touch. All right, so we're now in the 25th century. This would be a huge shock. Welcome to Earth Space Dock. Busy day on the holodeck, sir? I love dressing up for those historical holo novels, too. My Harry Mud costume took first prize last year. That being said, you're scheduled for a meeting with the top brass, so you, you might want to update your uniform beforehand. The Admiral can be a stickler for that sort of detail, after all. Congratulations. All right. That was good advice. Report to the tailor and speak with them about updating your uniform. You're over 150 years out of date in that regard. Understood. Why uh, wouldn't you want to be on... Uh, fuck. Let's try that again. Ah, whatever. Fuck it. Stupid speech impediment. Fuck you. Okay, you found the tailor. Take care of any uniform modifications you need here. You're almost ready to meet Admiral Quinn, but there's someone I'd like you to speak with before that. Philip Cray is a fellow temporal agent. He'll be working with you from time to time. Speak with him before your appointment with the Admiral. As you wish, I'll speak with Agent Cray. So now, we have an appropriate uniform. And you talk to Agent Cray. Ah, there you are. Daniels told me you'd be stopping by. Welcome to the 25th century. We've established your new cover identity, and the Admiral is expecting you in the office behind me. Report to him for your orders. Good luck out there. Let's hope we stop Jaula before she causes irreparable damage to the timeline. Agreed, and thank you. Alright, and... Here's Adam McQuinn. Ah, come in. I've been expecting you. I've been reviewing your service record. It's exemplary. You've accomplished a great deal in your career. Starfleet can use more officers of your caliber, to be certain. I hope you're ready to get back out there. A situation has come to my attention, and I'd like you to look into it. All right, continue. I've received a report oh, there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth Space Dock. It may need assistance. Okay. Okay. All right, well, that's going to con uh, conclude today's video. Uh, and as always, I'd like to hear from you. What do you think about this message? What do you think about uh, Discovery characters coming to the 25th century? Uh, it seems kind of like Asians of yesterday uh, type deal. But uh, hey, let me know your answers and any questions you have down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you for watching. Live long and prosper. And we'll see you out there.